Oh, I know it's not quite 5.30 yet. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I just felt like you guys needed a little bit extra this morning. So it's been a while since we played the hashtag Rise of Grind music video. That's right. I'm in an actual music video. I never imagined. Maybe I did imagine. I used to do a lot of dancing to Michael Jackson. And I think I thought I was... Yeah, I think I always imagined I'd be in a music video, but I'm actually in one. It's super cool. So that's how we're going to start today. Ready? Go. Don't wake them up with this one. I'm developing spiritually and manifesting miracles I'm gonna get it started, have a party in the morning And I'm gonna wake the world, it's so alarm And I have that rising grind, that's that rising grind First thing on my mind, early in the morning time Daily motivation, feeling so divine Waking up the nation, that's that rising grind That's that rising grind And the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. 
Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Dude, today is Tuesday. That's right. Today is Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. And what's crazy is today is the very first and the very last time it will ever be Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. So I want to make sure we make the absolute most of this absolutely incredible, incredible day. I gotta give a shout out to Lauren O'Donnell. I see her in here this morning and Amanda Sander. Way to go, way to rock, girl. Glad to see you this morning as well. Dude, I don't know, maybe I'm a little biased, but I just think if the whole world would listen to that song every day at the start of their day, the world would be a better place. I'm just saying, I think the world would be better. Maybe I'm a little, you know, but I mean, I mean, what a, what a great way to start the day with you guys right here hashtag rise and grind we're gonna bring marley jackson here in just a second which i'm super excited about she's been on the show once before but it's been a little while we gotta get a caught up she's a rise and grind member it's three o'clock or 3 30 in the morning something she's in like boise or some crazy place i don't know if anybody knows about that place but we're gonna bring her in here just a second i'm super excited dude We've been doing daily spotlights every day in the group, spotlighting humans from all over the United States. It's been absolutely incredible. All month long, we've been doing giveaways every single day, giving away t-shirts, hats, planners, uh, all kinds of stuff, rise and grind cups, all of these things, right? We've been interviewing group members every single day, which my dear friend Heather Parody has been helping me do, which is amazing. So she's been helping me. September has been a lot of fun really a lot of fun these september spotlights has been all about you right all about you on the podcast all about you on the lives all about you uh on 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 youtube if you're watching on youtube like it's just been all about you and that's been amazing Look, I hope you've enjoyed this month as much as we have. It's wrapping up, coming here to an end. We've got Marley today. We're going to bring in Carrie Lynn Carter tomorrow morning. If you haven't gotten yourself involved in any of those giveaways yet, make sure you text the word gear to 859-208-2351 to make sure you get involved with that. And if you're new to our show, you're like, what the heck are all of these crazy people doing up at 530 in the morning? This guy is screaming at me and they're dancing around like they're on MTV what is going on if you're new make sure you also join our group because we're actually even crazier in there so the hashtag rise and grind group you can find that on facebook and listen dude before i bring marley in here i gotta do something real quick heather parody what are you doing girl hashtag rise and grind hashtag rise and grind i still got the bounce going on <laughs> Gosh, it's, I love that line that says, wake up and stay woke. I'm like, okay, that's some church. That's some good stuff right there. Good that morning, y'all. Good morning, Heather. I'm so glad. Heather's going to join us today as well. How cool is my life, dude? It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm shooting out messages. I'm like, hey, Heather Parody over there in Georgia. Hey, Marley Jacks over there in Boise, Idaho. Let's get in here and let's make a difference in some people's lives. Dude, we got to get Marley in here. But before we do, you know what we got to do on this show? We got to say good morning to all those that are watching this morning for those of you that know and those of you that don't know this is the part of the show where i need you to hit that share button that's right i need you to hit that share button because i believe if we can change the way people start their day it'll make a massive impact on this planet what do you ladies think you think if we could change the way yeah look at that. that's what i'm talking about <laughs> Hey, this is, I believe we can change the way people start their day. It'll make a massive impact on this planet. And sometimes all it takes to change the way somebody starts their day is for you. That's right, you to hit that share button. This is also the part of the show where I want to say good morning to you and I want you to say good morning to me. Whether you're watching live or you're watching on replay, say what's up. We'll say what's up back, all right? What's up, Melvin Rodriguez? How you doing, Catherine Kegley? What's up, Heather Fox, Janelle Griego, Tina Bacon, Emily Gowler's up in here, Don Sankey, Julio Soto, Brad Smith. Heather, can you see anybody up in here? I, I see it on my phone. I'm checking on my phone. Sweet. Who do you want to say good morning uh, to this morning? Stephen Coon, what's up, my friend? Melvin Rodriguez, Julio, Brad Smith, 
I love it. Marley, what about you? Can you see anybody oh. on your phone? I thought you were going to say hello. Hello, Tina. Nice. We see Whitney, we see Emily, Tina, Melvin, Krista. So many people joining us so early in the morning. My kind of people. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. I love it. Heather, you are cracking me up. I got too much energy, y'all. I love it. I love it. Hey, make sure you share this thing out. Look, it's not easy to be here. 5.30 in the morning Eastern. It's definitely not easy to be here at 3.30 over where Marley's at, right? So do me a huge favor if you haven't done so already. Hit that share button. Tag a friend. Bring people all up in here. We're about to have some fun here on Hashtag Rise. Angra. Yeah, Marley, you're pretty much a beast. Okay. Whoa. Every time. Sold, yo. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, sold. Don't know what you're selling exactly, but I'm, but I'm buying hurt. it. I'm, it's, I'm all over it. Talk to me a little bit. What, is, what, the, what the heck is a content machine? Why is that important to me? Yeah, that was Content Machine Live. We just hosted it just this past weekend. It just finished. We had incredible speakers. Uh, I taught for three days. We had Russell Brunson, Stephen Larson, Christy Codred, Alex Sharfin, and we taught people how to build a content machine inside of their business, a content machine that consistently nurtures and warms up your audience and indoctrinates them into your message, into your movement, um, so that you can create reliable, recurring, predictable revenue and this like raving audience that can't wait to consume your content and share your message for you. Dude, did you get that, Heather? Did you take? Oh, I felt that in my bones, y'all. Did you get yes. that? Too? I mean, like yeah. that's that's a pro right there. You hear that delivery right? Like that was a that was like that elevator <laughs> page six. Just Good morning. Six, boom! Pow! I love how she just dropped that. So Marley, like, um, super super cool stuff. So that was your last event, and I'm guessing yeah. if people were to follow you, you'll probably have another event at some oh, point definitely. down the road, right? Yes. And it could be a part of that. Super, yeah. super cool. You guys got to follow Marley, man. She cracks me up. She's really funny. Uh, Heather, you should actually jump on every once in a while. I, you guys have similar personalities and some weird, oh, quirky stuff. So Marley's like, oh, no, don't compare me to that crazy country girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I really enjoy both of you guys' speed. Marley, how has quarantine been mm. treating you? Because I've seen some videos on your page over the last six months. So how's it been treating you overall? Um. It, definitely interesting. I didn't, I mean, who saw this coming? Um, as soon as quarantine kind of hit, I uh, jumped the border. I moved from Canada to the States. Uh, so I, I was like, I'm getting out of here. It's too cold up here. I don't want to be stuck here. So I uh, went to Boise, Idaho and uh, lived with a friend for a while. And um, yeah, became an, an, an well, kind of like an honorary American, no, no citizenship or anything, but uh uh, took care of chickens and and uh, started giving motivational speeches to chickens during quarantine, and that was entertaining for people. It became their morning show. It was like, Ma, I think I'm going to compete with you for morning show pretty soon. <laughs> I think that might happen. Marley if you need someone chickens. to join your team, let me know. <laughs> Sounds great. I'm all about that life chicken yeah. show. Awesome, but you're doing, but you're doing all right. It looks like you've been, you really increased your outputs. You've been um, doing a lot of, a lot of content stuff, a lot of strategy type stuff. So have you really taken this time to hone in your skills? Definitely. 
Definitely. Yeah. And teaching everyone how to, too, that, you know, when, when uh, coronavirus first happened, people were like kind of pulling back and, and stopped selling a little bit. And I took that time to get louder. And um, I did get a little bit of flack for it saying, hey, do you realize what's going on in the world? Like, you shouldn't, you know, just go quiet. And I said, do you realize, like, this isn't the time to stop speaking sharing your light and your inspiration. And it's not that I'm like doing this to try to sell, but I do believe that the transformation is in the transaction and that there are people out there that need to hear your message. And I know that what I bring to the marketplace is how to build your business and increase your revenue, especially during this time. So I was like, no, 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 I'm not going to go quiet. I'm going to teach people how to overcome this. Mm. I love that. I think that's super valuable, super important, right? Step on the gas. Mm -hmm. Step on the gas. You agree with that, Heather? Yeah. And I, I'm just, I'm curious about your, your love in general for content because sometimes mm. people say content's a waste of time or it's too oversaturated or whatever it may be. <laughs> I'm too late. I, I, you know, I didn't join it too early. You know, it's too late for me. There's too many voices. And so when did you really like hone in like content is it videos specifically? Um, and is it too late to jump in this? No, no, no. And I, of course, I do hear that people saying, well, uh, I don't know, like someone else is already doing it. I might be too late. And kind of what I answer to that is like, if you have this powerful message to share and your story matters, would you be like, oh, no, I'm not going to write a book because Oprah already has one. Like mm -hmm. your voice needs to be heard. Your story needs to be heard. And even if it's one person, if you change one person's life, isn't that worth it? And how is it how great is that feeling when someone says that's exactly what I needed to hear today? I'm sure you guys hear this all the time with the hashtag Rise and Grind show. Like, there's that person that just needs to get that little inspiration, and then the ripple effect that causes. Yeah. Um, and to know, and like I, I say this all the time, the transformations and the transactions. There are people whose lives are going to change with that content, with whatever your your service or program or offering is to the world. There's people that need that. So if you don't you're doing them a disservice by not sharing that. Amen. Oh, I love that. Amen to yeah. that, right? If you don't, uh -huh. you're doing them a disservice. Even if you just impact one, even if you just affect one person, I think a lot of people get caught up in that. They're trying to get, you know, I want a thousand, I want 10,000, I want a hundred thousand or whatever, right? It's really about the one. Now, let me ask you real quick. You've been on the show before. This is your second second time around, Miss Marley Jax, who has the most amazing name on the planet. <laughs> your name just screams fierceness. I love it. But you've been on the program before. We've been spotlighting all month long, hashtag Rise and Grind members, really interviewing members, uh, spotlighting members, doing giveaways, all these things. So what was it like for you, like after being on Rising Grind. Like, I, I don't get that experience. So what was it like after your first time being on the show? Well, your community is amazing. And like, I have i don't know of any other shows that, that do this this early in the morning. And to know that you have a community that like, they set their alarm, they jump on the show, they're excited to be inspired. And like, I have people even now, I keep seeing on my phone, like tagging me. I'm like, oh, I didn't know you guys were part of the hashtag Rise and Grind crew. Like, this is so awesome. And your community, <laughs> well, they continue to reach out and uh, just, it's such a place of positivity. So I was like, hey, Glenn, when can I come back? <laughs> yes, which is something that I love to hear, right? Sometimes I do, you know, I'm, I'm not going to name any names, but there's been a time or two where I've done a podcast or something I've been on with somebody and i'm like i don't want to do that again <laughs> so i'm glad have you ever had that happen heather you ever been on one you're just like ah new comment yeah that's what i thought that's yes. what i thought to, to, to uh, that's that christian in heather right there being super kind this morning <laughs> first thing this morning right so marley what is exciting and new like in your world what is what is what is the most exciting thing you've got mm. going on right now Gosh, well, we just finished up Content Machine Live. So I have like 300 people that just came to Content Machine Live and they are now building these content machines in their business. And um, one of the things I taught, of, I mean, taught several things, but teaching them how to build these basically revenue generating machines in their business from creating content. Um, and one of the things I, I, I'm sure you get this, like you say something in one of your shows that it becomes like, a repeated thing that you say all the time. Um, so I was telling this story, I told I mean, so many stories, um, but we created these t-shirts that say hashtag stop the pop, 
because it became this thing that I said once and the audience was like, oh my God, that's so true. Um, have you ever noticed, uh, and I and when I say this also, please know I'm not like making fun of anybody because we we all do it and we do it all the time. <laughs> we ask ourselves why. Have it's you ever it's really early. Nobody's listening. You can you can, okay, you can cool. make fun of people all you want. <laughs> um, do you ever realize or see how many people start a video or a Facebook Live or a YouTube, whatever, and they're going, hey, guys, just popping in real quick? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody, right? And we do. A lot. Again, is it because that's our authentic voice or is it because, like, you see everyone else do it? But also, is that apologizing for showing up and taking up some space on the timeline? Or do we just powerfully be like, Hell, I mean, look how you just started this show, like the song and how Pat and hey, who's here? And you're not apologizing, saying, hey, I'm just going to pop in just real quick. Oh, don't mind me. Excuse me. Right. So I'm like, Pause. start your message with power. Hashtag stop the pop. Stop popping in real fast. We don't want you to pop in. We want you to stand here and make your impact. Um, mm. So that like many other things the t-shirt is like selling out right now um <laughs> i was actually gonna ask you about that because the confidence and even with your video like that like, i loved it and it's so addictive but if we're not used to showing up fully ourselves or maybe if we nitpick ourselves or pull ourselves apart there's a lot of that insecurity that comes out so any tips for starting to build that confidence in your own skin so you can show up I love that you asked that because it's it's a daily thing that like I have to choose to show up that way and it's like building your charisma and how you confidently show up it's a it's a, a big thing of self-awareness and I believe that entrepreneurship is a game of personal development like uh, my business will grow to the level that I do so and that's also like who I have become and uh quarantine has been a really great time to do some personal development and therapy and like who am I? Why am I here? Why am I doing this? Um, but it's also like a decision, you know, Beyonce, she has her alter ego, Sasha Fierce, so that when she steps on stage, she, she just, it's not that she's, I don't want to say fake it till you make it. It's about be you louder. Take those characteristics that you want to amplify. Um, Marilyn Monroe would do this too. There's this story about her that she would, she'd be in the middle of Grand Central Station and she could decide if she wanted to be Norma Jean or if she wanted to be Marilyn and like no one would notice her. And then she would, she did this thing. She'd say to her photographer, do you want to see her? And just like a change in her energy, this aura of magic ripples out from her. She just, yeah. she just changes, she changes her body language and maybe like judges her hair and she becomes Marilyn and then becomes engulfed by fans who moments earlier didn't see her. What did she do? Nothing. All she had to do was decide. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's fire. I love <laughs> that. And I love how you said that it's really a game of, of, of personal development, right? Yeah. The more that we develop ourselves, the more that we can grow and develop our businesses, our empires, our relationships, yeah. right? All of those things come down to that personal development. So there are some people, there's just a, a couple people that are watching this morning. There's a couple people that have joined us, just a couple. And some of them... You know, lately we've just kind of been talking about rise and grind and that kind of thing, but you're such an expert in your field. And I, I want to share with them. Some of them have no idea what a funnel is, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, what the, what, what, what is a funnel content mastery, creating, monetizing? Like, so real quick, since you're the expert in this area and I love sharing other people's expertise with my people because it makes me look better, right? So with, with that said, like, what is a funnel really for? Why are they valuable and are mm -hmm. they hard to like build or to understand or what's, what's the deal with this whole funnel thing? Yeah, I mean, they're simple, but they're not easy. It's it's important to be in, intentional about your sales process, your sales message, how you're bringing people into your sales funnel. So the funnel is basically like, if you imagine a funnel wide at the top and then around, like, and then it peaks to the bottom, it, that's your sales process that like, right at the top, you have your cold audience, like anybody. But as you bring people into your ecosystem, you're sharing your message, you're, you're reaching the audience you need to reach, and they're going to weed themselves out. And that's a good thing. Like your message should have push pull language. It should be inclusive, but also repel the people that aren't right for you. And that's not a bad thing. If you try to speak to everyone, you speak to nobody. Um, so it's really important that like, 
you are bringing people into your into your ecosystem there like people who are watching the hashtag rise and grind show these are people that are positive they're here to make an impact on the world we don't want the negative people like if you guys watch that music video at the beginning that would repel the people that are like no i'm gonna, yeah. like they're not here they're not here they're why like so as people come through your funnel they are the right people for your impact for your movement for whatever the product or services that you're selling um so a sales funnel is really important to bring people into your environment into your ecosystem that make sure that they're the right person like it's almost like dating you you want to Make sure that you're um, you have those uh, you know list of deal breakers as you're dating, as you're getting to know each other. Uh, if something you know they can, they be like, yeah, I'm not going to see you again, and they they opt out of the right. funnel. If, and it's not a bad thing. You're both trying to find, hey, does this is this for me? Is this not for me? And that's what gets them into uh, purchasing your products and services. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's like a swipe left, swipe right system, right? <laughs> oh, swipe left, yeah. swipe left, swipe right. Not that I know anything about that, but that's what I've heard. <laughs> that's, uh, that's how online dating works. Uh, super cool. So sales funnel, I think it's important to everyone understands that this this applies to all businesses. It's not yeah. just necessarily something that you build online, right? It's yeah. super important that, yes, we have cold audience. We have cold traffic and we want to funnel those down. We want to filter them. And I love that you said... There's two things that you said that are really important. We have to weed somebody out. Like some mm -hmm. people have to go. Otherwise, we're spending a lot of attention trying to market to someone that's not our, they're not our buyer. They're not, they don't jive mm -hmm. with us. It's not our yeah. jam. So sometimes people like don't want to weed people out. It's like, bro, it's okay. Yeah. Like, let them go, let them go, right? Frozen style, right? Yeah. I also like how you touched on this. And this is something I train on with all of my dealers, all the all of the uh, the different dealerships, the leaders that I work with. We talk about this very specifically. And what you said, Marley, was if you're speaking to everybody, you're speaking to nobody. Hmm. And I want to share this message real quick with those of you that are in leadership, that are in management, anywhere in your businesses, that type of thing. It's super important that you understand this one thing, right? People need to be held accountable and responsible individually to different areas of your business, different areas of what you're trying to build, whether it's online, so on and so forth, right? So we can't have people that are just generally leading, like, what are they responsible for? What is, who is the one person, right? I say this to my dealers all the time. I walk in, I'm like, who's responsible for that guy over there? Mm -hmm. And they'll go, we are. And I'm like, okay, so nobody then, right? Because if everybody's responsible, no one's responsible. And that's that very same philosophy. If you're trying to speak to everybody, you're speaking to nobody. Get very specific on who you're trying to connect with, who you're trying to speak, who you're trying to lead. And it makes a massive difference. Dude, Heather, you learned anything today? Yeah, and that's why I love all this stuff because it's a lot of psychology. We don't think it is, but it is. Like that kind of people-pleasing tendency and us not wanting to, you know, pull ourselves away from the pack. And I think that's, that's a lot of internal work that we have to do because yeah. conceptually we can understand that but being okay within ourselves to say I'm okay if somebody doesn't like me I'm okay if somebody opts out I'm in a solid place where that's cool and that doesn't threaten my well-being like that's a powerful place to get to and one that's I don't think all up here something that we've got to you know get to internally any thoughts or tips on that yeah, that's like, that's what makes you powerful when it comes to the haters or any kind of negativity that you get online. Like you might have people that, and I, I sure do, that they might come on a Facebook Live and make some negative comments. And I'm like, oh, hey, yeah, I'm not for you. That's fine. And I'm not going to be like, oh, no, that person behind their computer screen doesn't like me. They say that my voice is annoying. Oh, no, like I'm not making my content for them. I know exactly who I speak to. I know the impact that I bring. And if someone's watching me that they're like, oh, no, that's like, I don't resonate with that person or I don't need that. I'm like, cool, go on your merry way. And I'm going to speak to these people over here that I do know that I can impact. That's mm. right. Okay. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Valuable, Ooh. important. And there's a bunch of people in here this morning. Angie Ruffer's like, 100%. Yes. I know. I'm getting my dance back. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> no music playing. <laughs> I am picking up what Marley is putting down right now. 100%. Yes. I love that. I love what I see 100% up there in the comments. Hey, Marley, what does... um. What does hashtag rising grind mean to you when you hear that? What does that invoke in you? Um, it means being committed 
to getting up and doing it no matter how you feel. Hello, it's 3.58 a.m. right now where I am. And I hear rise and grind and I'm like, time to get after the day, time to own the day. No matter how you feel, whether you feel tired, whether you feel like an imposter, whether you feel scared, commitment doesn't care how you feel. You get up, you do it anyway, even if you feel sick or tired or hurt. It means playing uh, even when you're even when you're sore. It means playing while you're hurt. It means not taking your successes or your failures personally. Amen, sister. Ah, I'm writing it down. Hold, please. I'm the production guy, the camera guy, the video guy, the interviewing <laughs> guy, and I'm taking notes. So hold on just a second. Commitment, Commitment. doesn't care how you feel. Yeah, mm. dude, we're gonna have to put that on a t shirt. Yeah, that's, that's another t shirt. Marley just yeah. dropped another t shirt on all of us this morning. <laughs> Marley, Heather, hang tight for just a second. Look, dude, it's six o'clock in the morning. I know you've got morning routines you got to tend to, and I want to be, I want to honor that, right? And I just have so much fun talking to these amazing humans uh, all over the country. And Marley it definitely fits that mold. And so sometimes we can go a little over our 30 minute. Uh, allotted slot that we've got right here and so i'm going to do that uh right now i'm going to go over but for those of you that have to get out of here i give you permission you have permission to be released out into the world so that you can go out and stay on routine and stay uh committed because <laughs> it doesn't care how you feel i stick and love that so you can stay committed to the things that matter most to you and so if you have to get out of here get out of here just make sure you hit that share button before you head on out and make sure that today you find time to shoot a message to miss marley jacks let her know that you appreciate her being on the show you appreciate her waking up at 2 30 in the morning so that she could be here you could appreciate all the value that she's dropping on you and helping you attack your day just flood her that's what we do here in rise and grind right we just Blood our people with love and encouragement. So please make sure to take time to do that today. Also, if you have to get out of here and you haven't done so already, my wife is going to kill me if you guys don't all start sending. Like, I need your favorite quotes and I need your favorite Bible verses and I need them like this week. So text them to 859-208-2351. Use the hashtag planner. Hashtag planner. You see, every year we make a hashtag rising rhyme planner that is filled with quotes and Bible verses from you, your favorite ones, you specifically. So I need you to text those in so my wife can build next year's planner that'll be launching on Black Friday. So make sure you text those in, your favorite quotes, your favorite Bible verses, all that. Now, with that said, I'm bringing these two ladies back in. You know what I'm going to be texting later? I'm going to be texting commitment. Does it care how you feel? Yeah. Hashtag Marley Jacks. That's what I'm yes. going to say. I think yes. I, I, I agree. I think 100% that's going in the planner. We're going to put mm. Marley's name right next to it with the lion. I'm going to figure out how to get that lion's head back that. there. And then, right? We're going to have to make that that's make it. that happen. Marley, I'm going to hold you over just a little bit and then we'll let yeah. you go. So how, um, like... This community, you're in a, you're in a big community, uh, you, you know, obviously you're in this community here with Rise and Grind, but you're also in a community in your world with kind of click funnels and all of the things that you do there. How important is community to helping you change the world? Yeah, I, I think about that a lot of like, where would I be if I didn't have these people or these connections or these, this encouragement, the, like entrepreneurship, life, whatever, whatever your mission is, when you are that committed, sometimes it's a lonely road. Sometimes uh, it's hard to do it on your own, but then you realize that, hey, I'm not alone. And there are people that have gone before me. There are people that I can learn from. I can learn from their successes. I can learn from their failures. Um, and while I'm in a challenge, my, my obstacles become my opportunities because of the community that I have around me to be able to lean on or learn from. Um, and I'm just, I'm so grateful for it because there's definitely a time where when you step into something new, like I said, you might feel alone or, or even have maybe questions of like, are you sure? Why are you doing what you do? Like how many people start businesses and their family are like, eh, are you going to do that? Or when are you going to get a real job or whatever? Um, and for me, like I, I could not be anywhere near where I am today without the support of an amazing community that encourages you to push past your comfort zone and uh, 
and just the accountability and the encouragement because we're all doing it together. Hmm. Love it. Community is everything. Yes. Community is so powerful, so important. Uh, Marley, Heather, Heather really understands this idea of community. As a matter of fact, she has been on The Walking Dead seven times as a zombie. <laughs> she is really? part of the zombie community oh, on yeah. The Walking Dead. Are, are yeah. you not, Heather? That is a very powerful community. <laughs> <laughs> Next level. No, that's the truth. You have not lived life until you at 3 a.m. in the morning, but in the woods with a whole bunch of zombies waiting on action. I'm like, what am I doing? What is what, what is up with my life right now? Yeah. But hey, it's adventure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think that's so cool. And what what what's even more cool is I was talking to Heather about this. This was something I just recently learned about Heather. That's why. I'm yeah, there's there's it. more, Glenn. I know, I know. As we as we continue down this rabbit hole, but um, but Marley, so check this out. So Heather's sitting on the couch with her husband, and they're watching The Walking Dead, and she goes, "I'm going to be on that show." Yeah. And her husband's like, you're crazy, impossible. Yep. And how yep. many weeks later was it? I took it as a challenge. I looked at him. I said, watch me. It was within about a month and a half. Uh, I got cast to be on it. And what's crazy is like when I when I got on set, there's people, I mean, who they told me they've been trying for years to get on the show. Years. And um, they have been able, you know, to make it. So I was so grateful for the opportunity. But what Glenn and I were talking about is, you know, there's so many things. And this is a silly example, of course, being a zombie on The Walking Dead. I love it. <laughs> but there's so many things that are so much more accessible to us, but we're too afraid to make the phone call or to find the right person mm -hmm. to talk to and just to put mm -hmm. ourselves out there. And yeah, sometimes there's going to be a no, but I think there's more yeses out there available to us. We just don't think it's ever going to be possible because it seems too far out there. Mm -hmm. So yes, my friends, follow your dreams. Be a zombie if you want to. You can do it. That's right. What <laughs> would you say to that, Marley? What would you I say would, to that, Marley? You can do anything you set your mind to, even if you want to be a dead person on TV. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Dude, set you your gold tie, y'all. I love have the best costume for Halloween. That you're like, watch me. Oh, I, that's my personality, girl. I get I, I get dared to do something. Yeah, yeah, love it. <laughs> I love it, and I love this concept that like. People think it's impossible, so they don't take action. But that actually kind of clears the path for those that will take action, right? Yeah. It actually makes it a little bit easier for those that will. I was talking yesterday with Sharon, um, Sharon Falk, and uh, I was talking to her, and I was like, hey, Sharon, next 90 days, Magic Johnson, Jennifer Aniston, T.D. TD Jakes. Like, those are our... Those are our targets the next three months. Those are people we want on the show. We want to know either I'm on their show, they're on my show, whatever. Magic Johnson, Jennifer Aniston, T.D. Jakes. And I know you crazy guys out there, it's not for the reasons you think. Jennifer Aniston has a new show out on Apple, um, mm -hmm. on Apple, mm -hmm. what is that called? Apple TV or something like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. called The Morning Show. And Good I was one. like, that that's a perfect fall in line. We I have a morning show. She does the morning show. So we're going to go for it. So we're reaching yep. high, you know, but those are the things you just got to reach. And I know, Marley, you've done that because I've seen you on some of the biggest stages freaking rocking it. You killed yeah. it at that ClickFunnels thing, which was amazing. But look, I could talk to you two forever and I know that we have to get, get, get rolling. So we've done this for you once before. We've put you on a mountaintop where the whole world is cheering for you, just like they were in that video there. Marley, yeah. Marley, Marley, right? But maybe somebody didn't catch your previous episode or maybe things have changed since COVID hit and mm. so on and so forth. So you're on top of a mountain, all of civilization's there. They're cheering your name. They hand you a microphone. They give you two minutes. They say, Marley, drop something on them, some practical application wisdom that they can apply in their life today, this week, this month, this year. What are you going to tell them? Oh, well, um, I recently realized, I'll share this with, with you guys in case this is any inspiration to you. Um, 
in in all this personal development that I've done, especially with the extra time that we've had in quarantine, one of the things that I realized is is as much as I am teaching marketing and teaching people how to, how to build their businesses, I realized that my real purpose, my mission is to build the people that build the businesses that change the world. That sometimes like you might be doing something tactical like me teaching marketing, um, but there might be a deeper thing beneath that of like, what is the real thing? Like I can teach you marketing strategies and teach you how to make this video. I can teach you how to be confident on camera. But more than that is what is the message that you have to share with the world? What's the thing? What's that impact that's going to outlast you? That's going to create your legacy. That's going to create profit longevity for you, for your family, for your loved ones. Um, so I guess I'm also inviting you to look at who do you need to be to do the things you need to do to build the business that you want to have. Um, and, and what's like the real, the real mission behind what it is that you do. Mm, I love it. What's the real mission behind what you do? I build the people that build the businesses that change the world. Martha Jacks, you are a special human that I am so thankful to have mm -hmm. in my tribe and yes. in my world. I apologize for calling you super late at night. The other night when I was in Tampa, I was I like, really she made that. a... Yeah, you made you made she made a post about her text community, Heather, and I had to like you know me. I'm always asking questions about what's next, so I call and her. You're always like awake. Super, <laughs> yes, and I'm always awake when I called Marley at the. Uh, so I apologize for that. But thanks for coming back and joining us, Marley. You're oh, such an amazing human yeah, being. Thank you. Clearly, uniquely made by the God of the universe to be the best version yes, of yourself yes. that you can be, and you're living it, and your decisions are making an impact, not just on your friends, your family members, your coworkers, but today you made a massive impact on me yes. and my tribe and, me. and Heather and we're for so sure. thankful for it so thank you so much Marley for joining us yeah. awesome awesome that was my dear friend Marley Jack she's a rock star super in the early in the morning for her I love that she did that for us I hope you found actually I can't say hope you found I know you found a ton of value in that so if you haven't done so already tag some peeps share it out and blow her up today. That is your mission. Blow up Marley. I want her to call me and go, Glenn, turn them off. Back them down. They drained my phone. My battery is dead. I can't work. I'm getting notification. Marley's looking at me right now like, all right, Glenn, that's enough. That's enough. But no, pour into her. Encourage her. Love her. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on Hashtag Rise and Grind, episode 717, which is crazy. But the good news is we'll be back again tomorrow with Carrie Lynn Carter for episode 718 on Hashtag Rise and and grind. Get out there and have an amazing day. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? You see, there's no excuse for you not pushing yourself to the next level. In order for you to create a new you, you must have a new mindset. When teams come together, we can create things that are greater than the sum of all of their parts.